Hi guys. Uh, so this is this is not your uh, your regular box modding video, even though this is a uh, a box and it will be modded, but <clears throat> that doesn't really count. Uh, I'm just going to talk about calculators today, and uh, specifically, uh, lately I've been into Hewlett Packard calculators quite a bit. I really like their. I like a lot of things about them, but the big thing is uh, their reverse publish notation, or RPN. Uh, I started using RPN in 2008 and just fell in love with it. Really enjoy that uh, that scheme. And I'll show you a couple of basic differences, and you can read up on it and, and uh, you know, whatever. And you probably won't because it's a fucking calculator stuff. But the difference is if you want to add something up, let's say you got 6 plus 3 squared uh, times 6 plus 3. Normally you use parentheses, but uh, the parentheses keys don't even work in RPN mode here because you just don't need them. Um, 6, enter, 3 plus, square that, then you do 6, enter, 3 plus, and then you just multiply, and you get your number. So it's more geared towards putting, thing in, putting things in in the order of operations. Um, it's not 100% uh, order of operations, but... It makes you think more in that vein, and when you get the the more complex your your calculations get, uh, the more RPN really starts to shine. Um, just having a big string of uh, values, like uh, especially when you're dealing with algebra, and you have just a string of of stuff like in Bernoulli's equation, especially if you're doing if you're trying to do a fluid system with Bernoulli's equation, uh, this is RPN is is going to save you uh, some time. So. And some errors too. That's, uh, but that's, I don't know. I guess that's uh, somewhat of an opinion. Anyway, uh, but but why? Why did I get a financial calculator? Well, I got it because someone out there, and I'll link all that in the description. Um, someone was good enough to write a new firmware for this calculator that turns it into a scientific. And uh, these things are good enough to have programming port right there on the back where the, uh, the firmware can be flashed. Now these things run, if I'm not mistaken, a 30 megahertz uh, ARM processor. So they are plenty capable of, uh, of running quite well. <clears throat> so someone wrote the firmware and uh, all you need is a, a cable and I'll link the link. I'll put a link to the cable in the description. And these... Um, I'm just dropping shit everywhere because of, uh, mainly because of, uh, steel reserve, but you know, so they, they made two different firmwares. One is more of a menu driven, um, somewhat simpler, uh, calculator. And then one that's more keystroke driven, which is, uh, much more, uh, capable. They call this the most, uh, I think uh, the most feature-packed, or however they phrase it, uh, scientific on the market, and it's true. Um, the only downside is uh, HP doesn't make this calculator anymore. So if you want to do this, you have to go to eBay or Amazon and uh, and snatch one up. So, um, which I snatched up two of them, and I might be buying some more just because. Um, but so. I'm going to do that, and I'll show you the video of that after I'm done. But I wanted to talk to you about how it is at the moment, because this is different than every other financial calculator, at least that I've seen, in that it has uh, trig functions built in. we got our uh, sine, cosine, tangent. Um, <clears throat> we also have natural log. Uh, and, and, of course, our regular... Um, natural log exponent and uh, and square and um, a number to a power and factorial and all this other stuff. Um, but in addition to that, it also has a menu with uh, with different functions. We have um, a trig functions, which is our uh, pi and our inverse uh, trig. We have um, we have our hyperbolic functions which uh, I'm not exaggerating about, and, uh, and a few other absolute value uh, logs and a couple other functions in there. So anyway, um, 
and the probability and, and whatever. And you can go in and menus, submenus, which is fine. Uh, once you familiarize yourself with a calculator, the menus and submenus don't don't quite seem so bad. Um, <clears throat> it also has rudimentary programming capabilities. And it comes with, uh, it's good enough to come with an overlay in case you uh, want to use them. Uh, because these have like, I don't know if you call them secret functions, but holy shit, focus. Um, but it does have uh, functions uh, in addition to its normal functions. And so this uh, overlay, you can actually peel off and stick on there. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to do that because I have a whole, <laughs> a whole different overlay to peel on and stick on there when I uh, when I flash the firmware. So I'll link all that in the description. But I just wanted to talk about this calculator as it is because I think it's really interesting that it is a uh, scientifically functional uh, or uh, you know calculator that's functional as a scientific and as a um, and as a financial. Obviously this is it's huge in the financial uh, calculating and um, which I don't do. Uh, I mean, if I were interested in, in money, I, I wouldn't be in the military. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, that's that's about it for this one. Uh, it's not only the 30B that you can do this with, which is which is this one. This is the 30B. You can do it with the 20B, which uh, is essentially the same calculator. Uh, it has a different. It does have a different firmware, um, even though I, I think they're they're functionally um, identical or at least close. Uh, it has a different uh, inlay as well. Uh, the face is uh, instead of this like very fake uh, brushed metal sort of look, it's just a gloss black. So, uh, and it does supposedly go better with these, uh, but the issue is I've heard a lot of bad things about the keyboard on the 20B. Uh, the keyboard is not as good in these. Uh, another great thing about HP calculators, these are all hinged. Um, so they have a very positive click and they come back up and they have very very little wobble you uh, you cannot make these things wobble very much as opposed to um, I bet I have my TI-68 close by yep, I sure do so as opposed to something like a TA-68 which is, by the way is a great calculator um, another one of my favorites um, you can you can see it you can hear you can hear the wobble in the in the keys now these are great keys they're fine they're clicky. They're good. Uh, this has a, an awesome dot matrix screen. It has a shitload of functions. Uh, I, I really I really like this calculator. I don't have a single thing bad to say about it. But, except that it's not RPN, but that's, yeah, good luck having a TI make RPN um, <clears throat> without modification. But this one, uh, the buttons are single positive click uh, Phil Basardo would be really proud of these buttons and they're they're hinged too they're hinged from uh, from the back end so they only push forward and down and even up close there is no uh, or very 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 little wobble I really can't like just the tiniest bit so uh, so that's great that, that's a good design. Um, <clears throat> and this is a modern calculator, too. They just stopped in making these, like, last year, like, middle or late last year, I think. So, um, but this is the, the kind of the design. The hinged keys are, uh, are a common design even back uh, 20, 30 years ago with these, uh, with these HP calculators. So uh, I, I like, like I said, I like RPN. I like scientifics. And, uh, and I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little fun this weekend. And, uh, and convert these, and I'm going to come back and uh, show you another video of, uh, of the end result. I'm going to link how-to stuff in the, in the description of this video and the other one, uh, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through a how-to. Uh, someone's already done it, and I'm not about to, to reinvent the wheel. So uh, that being said, uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything I got wrong or missed, please let me know. And, uh, and I'll put a, put a bubble up there in the, you know, in the video and fix it. Uh, yeah.